Yeah, I didn't hit my snooze in time. Well, no, I hit my snooze in time too many times. Uh, I missed a spectacular uh, sunrise on the way here. Beautiful red skies. Uh, I took a picture of my phone while I was driving on the way here. Um, here is Watson Mill State Park. Watson Mill Covered Bridge behind me. It is the uh, longest operational covered bridge in Georgia. And it has been photographed numerous, numerous times. Um, this video is gonna get into the, the challenge I wanted to present to myself to come out here and explore compositions and hopefully take you through uh, my process. Yeah, my process, like it's a big deal. But I wanted to, to take you uh, with me today and, and to walk around, look at the different angles, uh, walk around the bridge, spend a couple hours here and uh, see what we can get. And uh, I missed, I missed the sunrise, but uh, there's a lot of other opportunities here. I kind of like this composition. I like the colors, the earthy tones of everything. Um, there's a stop sign on the left side here, which I will probably take out because I wanted to leave some, some space on either side of the, the waterfall and the bridge. I like how the branches at the top of the image uh, come down and frame it. Uh, they'll be out of focus, I believe. They're really close. They're only about eight feet away from the camera. And the bridge is, uh, the front of the bridge is easily like 125 feet away, 150. Uh, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a longer exposure. There's a, a pipe at the base of this rock wall that is dumping water steady and it's causing a little bit of a ripple here so I can smooth that out as well as smoothing out this short waterfall um, and a little bit of rock. I mean, that's gonna be really tiny in the distance, but it'll smooth out. And there's a couple other things. There's some kind of blue sign over here that I could easily clone out. Um, Overall, and there's some nice, you know, the clouds, it's not just a plain blue sky, so we got some clouds in here that I can kind of mess with and bring in a little more contrast and interest. Uh, I like the greens uh, balancing the, the over here and the reflection, and the lines all seem to come toward the, the center. Um, yeah, I first image, I'm kind of liking this already, so let's... Uh, Two second timer. And uh, yeah, not bad. This is fairly close to the, the composition I've got in camera, but I wanted to point out what I, I was trying to do. I was originally set up uh, much, I was actually on this wall uh, over to a tree to the right here, and I thought that was uh, gaining a good perspective of the bridge to, to show how long it is and to keep that depth. But what I noticed is this was, this wall was parallel to the right, more parallel to the right edge. And as I was describing the shot, I said that I was pointing out about, talking about some a leading line. And as soon as I looked at that wall, I realized it was just, it was not, it was an awful, it wasn't a leading line at all. And it, it, as soon as I noticed it, I moved further to the left. I'm still okay with the, the length of this bridge um, and, and the little bit of road pop, popping out. There's a sign that I'll clone out, a uh, little blue sign in the background. Um, you can still see a little bit of the falls. I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. I really wanted to, this, this wall and the bridge. Um, and the other thing, my favorite part, and the sky has moved on since I first, oh, they're actually moving in from the left now. Some really nice light on the edges of these clouds coming in. So that's gonna be a really nice point of interest uh, above this bridge and I might just hang out here long enough I can't tell looking at the little screen 
but there's a really nice edge of clouds coming in. And once they reach this point, if they keep that shape and that light, that'd be, that'd be really cool. So hopefully that works out. Anything else about this shot? There is a lot of just empty green here. Foreground itself, there's not a lot going on. So maybe, maybe I should re, and you can see it, well, you can't really see on the camera. It's not bad, it, it forms, it's got this nice crisp line coming across to the wall, as well as the wall being a leading line toward the center of the image and the bridge itself. So that's, you gotta think about all the different elements because there's a lot working here, but there's a couple major things that I, I wish was better uh, as far as foreground. And um, I, I wish I could see more of the, the waterfall because that's a really cool element. I got that in the first picture, but then I didn't get a lot of the interest of this wall and this grass. So I'm gonna keep walking around and uh, hopefully I'll find something that incorporates all the elements in one shot. Um, I'm gonna hang out here for a minute and uh, snap some pictures once these clouds get where they where I want them to be. got a couple of compositions already. I didn't grab my my gloves, so my hands are cold at handling all the, the tripods and camera and all that. So uh, I'll have to take a few minutes here and there to, to warm them up. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm having a blast. The park rangers are uh, cruising around and <laughs> getting nosy, but um, that's fine. I, I'm having a good time. Uh, the place is to myself again. Uh, there was one photographer earlier, but uh, I think they've gone. We'll see when I cross the bridge. Uh, their car's still parked over there. But, yeah, the sun's good. It's not too harsh yet. There's enough clouds to, to filter it out. I probably have another hour or so, so I'm going to get to it. I haven't set up my camera yet, but I'm showing the shot I'm gonna go for. Again, the clouds are just looking great. I, I love that. Again, uh, the length of the, the bridge is, uh, is noticeable. The stop sign, it's the back of it, so I don't think I have to mess with that at all uh, to kind of you know, mimic the, the, the more natural aspects of the, the area. Um, well, the other thing I like well, I'm not seeing, I might have to take multiple exposures. I'm not seeing much of the texture inside the bridge. There's a, what looks like a, a giant, you know, like maybe a two by eight lattice structure for, for support inside the bridge. And you, looking on this screen, I'm not really seeing it. Maybe uh, maybe the camera and post will, will pick it up, but I'll take a couple different exposures so I can lighten up uh, inside. Uh, I like, I like this line Sorry, I got to tap. Um, I'm liking this line of, of grass, the edge, and the, the little bit of dried shrubbery here. Again, the waterfall is visible over here, but um, yeah, I, I'm liking this. taking some shots. I have changed my mind about my position 
I'm gonna get my feet a little wet and try to eliminate these branches overhanging. Don't know if that's gonna work, but I wanna give it a shot. So. I really like that last shot. Uh, on the back of the camera, the earthy tones of that bridge and the rocks in the foreground and the, the smoothing out of the waterfall and the water. The only thing is that branch. I might have to do a little Photoshop magic. I mean, maybe get rid of that branch. Um, won't be too hard. But yeah, I cannot wait to see how that one turns out. Hopefully I'm far enough away from the falls so that you can hear me all right. But uh, I didn't really have a near accident, but it, it, it reminded me of a, a great safety tip is that although when you're out in a shoals area and it looks like there's wet spots and dry spots, do not get confident that what looks like a dry spot is, is not slippery because it certainly can be. Uh, the darker areas could be uh, like a, a mildew, very slick. Uh, if it is dry, your boots, or your shoes could still be wet. And that's what just happened to me. I was walking along a dry spot to come here and I slipped and I was like, what the heck? You know, but my, my boot was wet because I had gone into the water a little bit earlier. And so just be careful, remember that. Uh, very important, uh, you don't want to get hurt. You don't want to uh, ruin your equipment and uh, just, uh, Keep safety in the front of your mind whenever you're doing any of these shoots by water. I did decide to do one more shot. There's a cascade that caught my eye. And when I got over here, uh, in order to capture the bridge, I decided to do it in portrait. And in doing so, also uh, introduced our friend, the tall pine tree to the right, which now uh, I'm a little bit of a fan of because uh, when you look at the composition here, it's a nice element framing the right side. Uh, the only thing I don't like is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, this, this rock I have positioned in the bottom right now has a, is a, there's a dark area of contrast between the light and dark, light of the rock, brown, and the dark of the water at the bottom of the frame, and it's drawing the eye. But I don't know, if I move up, um, there's, there's just a lot of balancing I'm trying to deal with. I've got... You know, this this uh, these, this line here on the edge of the shoal, the wet and dry, leading toward the the um, the bridge. I've got the direction of this uh, cascade coming across. I've got this little. This is what I'm focusing on right now. Uh, is that little cascade there? It's only about a 18 inches, but um, I think I'm gonna. I don't want to zoom in. I, I suppose I could zoom in a little bit and cut more of the left side off since we're not really seeing the whole bridge. But uh, I don't really see many uh, photos of this bridge in portrait, mainly because it's such a long horizontal uh, structure. But I think with this, this tree 
And the interest of uh, this, this cascade and the rock anchoring the bottom, um, I think it, it might turn out all right. And plus, look at the clouds. I don't, I don't know if you can see it on screen. But I'll show the photo after, and you'll see the, uh, the cotton candy clouds up there looking really cool. I really enjoyed that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, I've been to this park a couple times with my family. We've uh, gone on hikes, we've done some picnics, we had the kids play in the water. So it was a real treat to, to come out and uh, do some uh, photography, work through some compositions. I hope you found them uh, helpful in some way. Uh, I enjoy you know taking that time to, to show what, what's going on in my head. <laughs> um, if you value this content, if you enjoyed it, uh, please, I'd appreciate uh, hit that like button hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, see how I can uh, improve the channel or maybe uh, think of another idea that uh, I can make a video for. All right, well, thanks a lot for your time. I will talk to you next time. Welcome to Heavy Nature. I'm Michael and uh, I'm really God. Gad? I'm glad. <laughs> and, 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 and. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Sorry. No, 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 you're fine. I wondered what that was. What is he carrying? <laughs> oh, I'm just taking pictures and videos. Yeah, it didn't look like a fishing rod and I couldn't figure out what that was. <laughs> Have a good morning. You too.